Morehead State coach Nick Aoki, fourth season with the Eagles, uh, team pick second in the preseason poll, had the preseason player and pitcher of the year. So, Coach, just, just some general thoughts on your team heading into the 2023 season. Uh, really excited about it. I think we have a chance to be really good. Um, you know, the competition, obviously, in the league is going to be great. And uh, with, but it's um, yeah, we're really excited about it. We return a big part of our lineup. Uh, we return a lot of our uh, pitching. And so we feel like we've got a chance to really make a run and may, uh, win a regular season championship here. And we're, that, that's sort of the expectation that we're working under. So what have you learned about your team since you got the, your, your program, since you got to Moorhead now, now that you've had some experience there? Um, I, I love the, the kids that I've had the opportunity to coach. We bring good kids here. Um, they're motivated to do well on the baseball field and the classroom. They are um, you know, good representatives of their families. Uh, I, I, I enjoy the, the community here as, I, as I've grown into it. Uh, I think sometimes Appalachia can be a little bit slow to accept some people, but I feel like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm generally speaking, I think of myself as a decent dude. So they've been uh, accepting and we've done some things to our stadium, make it look a little nicer. And so I'm excited about being here. Um, I really enjoy Moorhead State. I enjoy the OBC. And, um, and I wish we're sometimes the ballparks, including ours, are a little bigger in the OBC. But outside of that, it's, it's, it's been great. Well, I was going to ask you about some of those uh, renovations to your state, but you have quite the home field advantage, not just the size of it, but you all played well. You were 17 and 10 last year. Just, you know, what, what's the, tell us about playing in that, in that venue and what fans can expect this year when they come. Well, we have, you know, there's the short right field porch, right? And, and I think that that can be, you hope our kids have learned to deal with the adversity, so to speak, that comes with, you know, maybe a bad contact ball that ends up going off of the wall or going over the wall for a home run. Um, I think that for opposing pitchers, it can be something that they come in and they're like, oh my goodness, wow, look at that thing, right? Um, but we, um, through the uh, donation and generosity of a, of a Moorhead State alum named Andy Prefontaine, we have uh, put brick around the entire exterior of the, of the stadium. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, looking at it, they're still they're pouring some cement all around the thing, and uh, it's cleaned things up a lot. And we are going to continue to try to improve it. So they'll, uh, they'll you know, old Sonny Allen, who's who's been a, it's been around since I think 1974, 75, somewhere in that neighborhood, got a got a much needed facelift, and we're we're pretty excited about it, and, and very very. Um, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Grateful for Andy and, and his generosity. So we have some new teams in the league this year. So, um, you know, and also there's a transfer portal. So you always got new transfers. Um, you know, it's tough to be to pick a preseason poll, but you all were picked high. But what do you expect from the season in the OBC just generally? Uh, or can you expect anything because there's so many unknowns? Uh, I, I don't have the slightest idea, to be perfectly honest with you. People will ask me, hey, what do you think? Who else is going to be really good in the league? And, uh, and I don't have the slightest idea. The portal makes it go around. Um, I think that maybe when I was 20 years younger, maybe I would have tried to keep up with it. At this point now, you, you try to show up. And, and I think that I, I try to focus our guys on, let's try to be the best Moorhead State that we can be rather than worrying about what, you know, Coach Braga brought in at, at Tennessee Tech or what Coach Sawyer's brought in at SEMO or whatever it happens to be. Um, and, and, you know, the, the reality of it is, is that there are kids who are on the team who all of a sudden from one year to the next pop up and have been really good and had nothing to do with the portal, right? Um, Nick Gooden didn't play in our program for three years and he was an all OBC guy last year, you know? Um, and, and so there's development that happens too. And so I think that as much as I can, I just try to I just try to worry about the things that I can control. And right now, the only thing I can control is making sure that our guys are, are ready for the season and that um, that we develop our kids as best we can. Uh, you mentioned you got some returning players. And I mentioned you have the preseason player and pitcher. Jackson Feltner, can we start on him and just what he's done in two years in your program? That's pretty remarkable, honestly. Right? I mean, it's um, I think he's a terrific hitter. I just just. All around, I think he can make adjustments with two strikes. He has power. He is a tough out. He doesn't give very many at bats away. And I, I think that I don't even know what did he hit as a freshman. He hit like some foolish number, like 396 or something ridiculous like that. And I think he's gotten better. Right. And um, 
I think he's become a much more well-rounded player. I think his defense has improved tremendously from last year to this year. He's much more athletic. Uh, he has really improved his body. Um, you know, my in my opinion, to be perfectly honest with you, I, I think he's you know, a, a top five or ten round bat. Uh, I think he's, I think he's that good. Um, and and I've had the good fortune to be around some guys that have been drafted in those rounds, and I would put Jackson up with every one of them. And then pitcher John Bakke, obviously versatile is what I'd say to describe him. He started. He's come out of the relief. What about him and how do you expect to use him this year? Uh, we, well, he he had a little bit of like, a, I don't know, something an edema in his lap. So he's coming along a little bit slower. So we'll start the year with him coming out of the, the back end of the bullpen until his pitch count gets up there a little bit. And then we expect to transition him by the time the conference rolls around into being a starter. Uh, John has obviously, he's been incredible. He's pitched so many huge, huge innings for us. He's uh, a, a team leader. He is a, a, just an unbelievable human. He, he's just, a, he's a great kid. Uh, he actually has a graduate degree from here in this past fall, was teaching two classes at Moorhead State, right? So in, in the age of the NIL, he was actually earning his money on the academic side of things. Um, and and so I, I can't say enough about Bach. I mean, he, he's just, he's tremendous. Um, our pitching staff will go as he goes. I mean, just as simple as that. He's the unquestioned leader of the team. And uh, he, he's just couldn't say enough about him as a, as a player or as a person. Last question. When about, let's talk about your schedule a little bit. Um, you got ten, you're going to play Tennessee, uh, obviously, who had a great season, Indiana, and, and some other some other good teams outside of your conference play. Yeah, I think we have, what, like eight or nine games against, um, you know, power five teams, three of them weekend series. So we'll we'll see their best arms. And I think it, I think it's probably, you know, I'm not like some super huge historian of everything, but I would guess that it's probably the most challenging schedule that Moorhead State has played, at least in recent years. And so we're excited about it. I mean, the chance to go to Lindsey Nelson and, and, and see those guys and play in an atmosphere like that, I think will be great. Um, I know IU has a tremendous facility. We play UK and, and U of L each year. And, and, and to a certain extent, maybe that gets repetitive, but you're, you're playing, you know, in U of L, you're playing one of the premier programs in, in, in all of America and, and has been for the last probably 15 years, ever since Danny has been there. So, um, and, and you get to go up and, and play UK and that, beautiful ballpark that they have. I mean, that, that thing is as, as good as anything around. And so uh, I would say I'd probably put that up against a lot of AAA parks. So it's, um, it, it's exciting. We're, we're thrilled. It'll be a tremendous challenge for us. And, but I do think that this is the team that has both the skill set and the makeup to go handle something like that. Well, coach, thanks for your time today. Best of luck to the Eagles this season uh, as you get going. I appreciate it, Kyle. Looking forward to seeing you at the conference tournament at the end of the year if we can get there. So thank you.